Good morning, Lori Henderson here with Hanging with Hendu and Lulu. I'm not going to look at the video today at all because we lost electricity and that was due to someone crashing into a telephone pole and it's early in the morning. I haven't taken a shower. I'm a horse person and not looking at the camera is probably the best case scenario today. We ended up having a broken pane of glass in an antique French door. When the lights went out, I wanted to find something to do, and I started taking the panes of glass out, and I slit the joint on a knuckle on my left hand. And I'm a do-it-yourselfer, so I generally fix things myself. I have a first aid kit in front of the screen that has some... Simply saline wash, which I am going to use to clean the wound. There's some hydrogen peroxide. That's good for cleaning any dirt or bacteria that might be in the wound. I'm utilizing a splint to hold my joint. You can see I've already done it and I'm going to undo it for you and show you how to do it. This is a little clothespin that I'm using as a splint to keep the joint, which is this joint here over the knuckle that has split. You have to keep it closed. I have some bandage scissors to cut my coflex. This is horse coflex because I have a horse farm and there wasn't any human size, so I'm gonna cut it in half to make it narrower. I'm using this little cotton ball to put on the end of my splint so it doesn't injure my hand by rubbing. And I have two Band-Aid brand butterfly bandages. I'm only going to use one. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the Coflux off. It's super sticky. And you can see here, this was a cotton ball. It had some blood on it that I used this injury happened about an hour or two ago, so it's not bleeding any longer. This stuff is super, super stretchy and sticky, so it sticks to itself. I'm going to unwrap the cot and then show you what I have. What I've done is I have wrapped the splint onto the back of my finger. Super sticky. I mean super sticky. It's great for compression. So there you can see my old hand. Look at all those wrinkles. Gross. I'm 53, but in all honesty, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, these hands work hard. You can see the butterfly there, and you can see it was a slit right across my knuckle. It actually bled a shitload when it first happened, and what you have to do is you have to... I took cotton balls, and I compressed it to make it stop, and then once it stopped bleeding... I ended up butterflying it. And you can see it's it's starting to heal already. So I'm not going to open it by, you know, bending my knuckle too much. But I am going to show you how the saline works. So this stuff is awesome. It's simply saline. It has a little power nozzle. It's great for cleaning shit out. And you can make it go really hard or drip. I'm just going to drip it right now. And it basically sprays. But you can make it go super hard. Isn't that cool? Did you see that? Yeah, you can hear it. All right, so that's that. Then I'm going to take a clean cotton ball to dry the area off and kind of rub around and clean so that when I put that Coflex back on, it's not wet and humid in there. You don't want to macerate, which means dead skin. Um, I'm going to pour a little bit of hydrogen peroxide onto a cotton ball. I'm going to put it into the cap and then dip a cotton ball in it and clean it. So I'm dipping it in. It's a clean cap. Dipping, dipping. A little bit of fuzz. No big deal. It's pretty clean. And then dry it off again. So I'm drying it off again. I'm going to take my Coflex and I'm going to cut it in half so it's narrow. I'll show you how I, what I come up with when I'm done. Actually, if you just cut it in half here, 
and then you can actually rip it sort of like a sheet. It's super stretchy. I love this stuff. It's like a miracle. If you ever sprain your ankle or need anything for compression, this stuff is the bomb. It's the best stuff ever. And this is horse brand. You can get it at Tractor Supply or you can spend a ton and go to a drugstore and get white or beige skin color. But I like this stuff because we tend to need stuff to wrap ankles because we're athletic and we're always injuring ourselves. I've actually wrapped a leg before because I ended up cutting, splitting my leg open. I'll show that someday. So there you can see I have my Coflex strip. Okay, I don't know if it's long enough. I might need longer. I'm going to take my butterfly and open it. Once you get your butterfly open, you can have it, you know, it kind of like bends like this. You open it. It's super rugged and sticky, so you want to try to keep it clean on the bandage. It's not going to go over the cut. What it's going to do is act like a stitch. So you put it at the very edge of your cut, and then you open your knuckle, and you kind of pull it. See how you pull? And that way, it holds the two sides together. I'm going to take my clean splint. I'm going to get this water out of the way. That's the saline water. I'm going to take my clean splint and I'm going to have this flat edge against my the back side of my knuckle. I'm wrapping it a little bit. I'm going to put it on the back side of my knuckle. I really want it so that it doesn't allow for my knuckle to bend. I want to wrap it around my hand and then I'm wrapping it around. I want compression on that cut. And then I'm wrapping it around my finger. All right, you can be neat about it. It's kind of hard when you're doing a video to be neat, but I'll try my best. All right, so there you go. That's pretty much it. So you can see I wrapped it around to compress the butterfly, wrapped it around for the splint, and now I can't bend that knuckle. And I'm going to take this little cotton ball and stick it here for now just so that it doesn't hurt my finger. You could probably wrap that and then you wouldn't see it. Let me see if I can do that off screen. Yeah, there you go. So I wrapped it all up. And now I have a butterfly cut instead of a suture. I've covered it, which you could go around it twice if you wanted, but I didn't have enough. And I have a splint so that I won't bend this knuckle. Later today, I'll probably take the splint off and just rely on the bandage because my body will have healed itself enough. Thanks for watching.